So here's the first example to help us get used to working with decibel and intensity. Okay, here a jackhammer emits sound at 0.35 watts as it strikes the ground. Uh, we have to find the decibel if you stand a meter away. And then we make the very important assumption that the sound waves spread equally in all direction. So let's think about, okay, dB, dB, we need L is equal to 10 log base 10 of some intensity over the original intensity. And then the intensity is given by power over area. And what is this area about? This area, uh, let's say we have a jackhammer here. And it hits the ground. It makes all kinds of noise. But it's emitted and spread it over all direction equally. We're, that's the assumption we're making. So basically the way spread out in perfect spherical shells and the area of a perfect spherical shell is 4 pi r squared. So that's what's going to give us the area. It's always the area that the original emitted power is spread out around. And if it spreads equally in our direction, it's going to be 4 pi r squared. So plugging everything in, we have i is equal to 0 0.35 divided by 4 pi, which is watts, 1 squared. It will give us 0 0.02878 watts per meter squared. And then finally, we have plugging it in 10 times log base 10 of 0 0.0278 divided by 1 e negative 12. Do all the math right, you get 104 decibel, which is our answer. Stepping it up a notch, we're going to demonstrate how the decibel scale is not always the most intuitive ev thing ever. First off, remember how the loudness for last time is 104 decibel. So clearly the trap answer here is twice that. It's not going to be 208 decibel because people would die. And you've seen multiple jackhammers in the construction site. People don't die. Now. <laughs> How does that work? Well, the total power now, it's not 0.35, but rather it's twice that, 0 0.7. Um, and that's going to be divided by the same area again because you're also one meter away, which is 4 pi r square, or 1 square. And so the new intensity now is going to be twice as it was used to, which is going to give us 0 0.0557 watts per meter square. Then the loudness is once again, we'll do the log 0 0.0557 over times 10 to the minus 12. And that gets us 107 decibel. And so being twice as loud usually corresponds, so times two is, gives you a change of three decibels. So you see a lot of times on hi-fi and stereo and things like that, this magical number of three decibel is just your two times multiple sort of thing. But the thing to stress here is having twice the power doesn't mean twice the loudness. The decibel scale, the log scale, it's not linear. 